Hi everybody, this is Gina Thorson, president of Stormy Kermer, and I'm here today to introduce you to another one of our employee feature videos. Um, today you're gonna hear from Karen Palmquist. Karen is a good friend uh, who was a friend before she came to work here, and she was also a big fan of the brand long before she came to work here as well. Sometimes we joke and say that Karen bled plaid long before she officially became a member of the Stormy Kermer team. We're really glad to have her. She's our sales manager, which means she gets to work with our sales reps and our wholesale accounts across the country, making sure they have everything they need from us and that they have the support they need to sell our products. Uh, I think you'll enjoy listening to her story. And with no further ado, here's Karen. My name is Karen Palmquist. I am the sales manager for Stormy Cromer, and I've worked here for four years. I got my first Cromer cap in, was in college, going to school at Northern Michigan University. It was Ida cap, and it was, you know, I just wanted something more to be part of the UP and my pride of going to school and uh, being, you know, in the place that I loved. <laughs> That's a hard question to answer because I stopped counting after 26 hats. I honestly stopped counting a few years ago because it was too way too much. Um, confidence with wearing the pieces themselves. My sister got me uh, my first pedal pusher cap and when they had first come out and it was starting to grow but you know, still not like overly huge, but everybody just said like, that hat speaks volumes for you. And you just look so confident and you, you know, wear it um, so well. And um, it just kind of became my fearless uh, hat. So, you know, I was, whether I was fishing or just out on the town and I got, always would get so many compliments and just, I felt amazing wearing the piece. honestly varies um, on the time of season. I could be, you know, I'm doing a lot of office work or networking with our sales reps and our dealers as well as uh, some of our buy groups, um, you know, for the wholesale piece and individual customers for custom orders. Or I could be on the road um, showcasing our new product and um, meeting with accounts or, you know, getting in a van and driving to Pennsylvania just to see what's, what was going on. So it just honestly depends on the time of season. Um, and then also because all of us, you know, being in a family owned company, work and wear many hats, so to speak. So I could be helping out in the DC or backing up customer service, you know, if it's kind of a crazy day um, and then exhibiting at, the, uh, at trade shows. Making the connections, honestly. Um, there's a few dealers that I've really established um, pretty great friendships with. So if I'm stuck on something or, you know, need some advice or honest feedback before a product or idea goes, you know, to full fruition, I can, I know I can reach out to, you know, Mitch and say, hey, we've got this idea, you know, what do you think or what could it make, what could make it better and just, being able to work and make those um, relationships and, you know, kind of make, make and keep friends and networks, you know, it's kind of what the whole brand is about as well. You know, it's, it's kind of like this club or this culture where, you know, it's, it's so warm and inviting that, you know, you, you've always got a friend if you've got a Cromer on, you know, and you meet people and, you know, you, you keep those friendships as well. There really isn't a difference like that I notice anyway, but it's just, again, more of like that family connection um, with being a super friend or a fan of the brand and being able to work alongside of a family. It's not corporate, you know, structure or culture, what I'm, you know, you're used to in that type of a role. It just, and honestly just feels like you're going to hang out, you know, for a day and um, be with some creative, collaborative people that you've, you know, created bonds and relationships with. So it's not, I don't know, I, I guess I, I, it's not work when you, when you're passionate about it, I guess. 
hop on the bus. Um, it was like one of the coolest things when, you know, Bob asked me, he's like, do you want to get on the Cromer bus? And, you know, I said a big resounding yes. Um, and again, you are with people that care, um, very family oriented, and um, it, it's just fun, you know, and it's been an incredible adventure and we're only going forward and doing great things. So, you know, if you want to be a part of some something bigger, um, it's, it's definitely where you want, like to be and want to be. They'll be able to see, again, just more growth and expansion. I mean, even every line that has come out that I'm just like, man, this is the biggest and the best, but then the next one comes out and the next one, and it's just, it's kind of like this snowball effect in, you know, when our friends and family and customers, you know, are all saying, holy cow, this is, this is great. You know, it's just, again, like it, it's just, I think the sky's the limit. We are, you know, in a great path of growth and success. And I think it's, it's only going to be full steam ahead.